this particular print seems like a more complicated print than maybe some things you've done in the past. How is the process evolved and uh, how to describe it to you? This particular print, we talked about um, where it might end up. Um, and then I did some uh, paintings, which we uh, of bits and pieces that were going to be part of this uh, uh, print. And we photographed these, brought them onto the computer, and manipulated those to create um, a, an image that became a photo, a photo etch plate. Um, and that, um, with the end result, becomes one plate out of the five. So that process, although important, is only one fifth of the, the process of this being a handmade print. First plate is a yellow plate, and it's basically done using a piece of MDF and a wood carving tool. It's very simple. Um, and very immediate. And then there are three plates that are um, acrylic sheet. And this acrylic sheet has been um, either melted using a soldering iron. So those melted marks will create something when you ink them up. This uh, is a Dremel, which is uh, sounds like a bit like a dentist drill. Um, but that can just carve away some of the plastic, so you get these great marks with that. And then you can either choose to push ink into the grooves and wipe the surface clean, or you can, as, as you would with a, um, with a wood cut, you can just roll ink over to the surface. So we have um, uh, one of these plates is a sort of purpley red that's ink that's rolled over the surface. One of the plates is a, is a combination of blues that are blended and rolled over the surface. And then you have the photo etch plate and you have a black intaglio plate that's made out of plastic as well using the soldering iron. Once I've done that, Sandra and I come back together and we spend uh, quite a few days playing around with colours and trying to get the whole thing to register. And, um, and that process is it's kind of a, it's great fun at that stage but, um, but uh, exasperating as well because we just know, not quite sure, there's so many choices, we're not quite sure where it's going to end up, whether it's going to work at all. Working with Sanju as well also, uh, it allows me to be much more ambitious than normal. Because if it was just me making stuff, it's, it's so uh, time consuming, it's so labour intensive, and the ch it's just physically not possible sometimes. So a print like this you couldn't do by yourself. Um, and it needs Sanju with his guidance on various things. 